Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Rerun Show, and I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. I got this radio. Looks like a deck of cards, doesn't it? It's about the size of a deck of cards. I got this a couple of weeks ago, and I forgot that I had it. And apparently, it was on sale on Amazon. I didn't realize it. I, I did realize the price was really low, but I didn't realize it was on sale. So today, when I finally got around to reviewing it, I checked the price, and it's gone up $3. This was $9.97. Yep, that's the one thing about Amazon. you got to stay on top of things because they have sales all the time, and they're really good sales. So even though after using this, at twelve ninety seven, the present cost, still a good value, but it was a great value, and I didn't realize it, at nine ninety seven. So let's go on. This is a um, AM FM radio by Vondor, V O N D O R, and uh, let's just take a look at it. Okay, let's unbox it. I don't like doing unboxing, but. We're going to make this a real quick unboxing. Whoop, there we are, unboxed. And this is all it comes with, is the radio and a manual. Nice big display. Don't know if my camera is catching that display very good. There, it's lit up. Very bright and easy to read when it's lit up. Has um, a mode button, a memory M minus M plus for the stored memory stations. Um, it's got a memory button to store uh, in the memory locations a given frequency. And then the AM FM. AM FM? Yeah, that's right, AM FM. I, boy, I'm out of it. Uh, we had, are just getting over uh, a bad period of weather for that tropical storm that's now almost about to make uh, landfall at New Orleans. And we had a lot of side effects for a long time, like five days. It rained and it rained and it rained. And yesterday, we had tornadoes in the area. And I couldn't find anything on the local news about one that touched down, but I just briefly saw... Um, three blocks from my house where some kind of like burst of wind knocked a big tree down and smashed totally two cars. And we lost power. We lost power for about three hours. Luckily, I can listen to the local power company, which is Duke Energy, on my scanner and find out what's going on. So I heard them. They were three houses down from me where uh, a branch had broke the power line and they had to uh, put that back up and they had to replace some fuses. Anyway, so I've really gotten behind, but hopefully that storm's away. And I'm going to do another show about storm tracking because what they're saying is it's going to be a bad year for storms. Anyway, so let's look at the manual here. Gosh, I babble much. I'm sorry. I'm looking over my camera, so bear with me. I can't even figure out how to get this stupid thing open. Yeah. Oh, it's triple fold. There we go. Okay, it says it requires two AAA batteries, not included. Um, when the radio is off, it displays the time. So it's got a clock function. When it's on, um... You can select the stations and stuff like that. Volume control is right there and right there. No, that's tuning. Uh, vol volume control is over here. Well, I tell you, I am so screwed up. There's a volume control, and then there's where the battery goes. Oh, boy. What a dummy. Um, and then, uh, again, change the... Frequencies, you use these two up and down buttons. You can auto scan. 
Uh, when the radio's on, long press memory key, which I sh that guy's tried to show you there, right there is the memory key, and it will do a scan. And it will save 20 stations. That's, that's more than enough for me. Um, and then you can also, when you're tuning, you can do a manual store in one of those memory locations by just, when you get to the frequency you want, press the memory station, and then you choose a number, 1 to 10, a uh, 1 to 20, and sort. And then you can go back and select, select those stored memory uh, stations by using the memory plus, memory minus key. And then it's got lock key, and stereo mode in FM, press mode key. And this is ST icon 4, will appear Oh, stereo icon will appear on the lower left-hand corner. You can listen to stereo on the headphones. Naturally, it only has a single speaker inside. It's got an alarm clock, and it's got, um, tells you how to set the alarm clock. It's got a uh, sleep timer, and what else? I'm not trying to read this, but I am reading it. That's it. Okay, that's it. So, let's see how it performs. So... I forgot how to turn off. Oh, yeah. Up here is the headphones jack and the on-off button and a very, very, very short telescopic antenna for FM. I mean, that is short. That's like, <laughs> that's less than a foot. But anyway, now let's turn it on. Okay, here, nice and bright. Tell we were in because we the Grand Hotel. Geez. We were not allowed on the first floor. Oh. Arafat... Some of you are younger. Do you know Yasmin Arafat? Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah. And I couldn't give it what before. Right. They wouldn't let me on. So. Oh, that, that was a problem. I was pushing the right button, but I, you had to push and hold the volume up or the volume down. So let me turn it back up a little bit. Let you listen to it. This is... See, let's out. Let me see how high it goes. So everyone's Hold on. At you, and I you might want to turn your volume down. And I wave back to everybody as I ride 38. In the bus to the Nobel. Okay, 30 there, is about right. So you're probably up there. The um, this is 89.7, which is the station and across and the, the bay for me. And, and if I could get her shut up so I could tell you what I'm going to do. Um, that's the station... That's across the bay for me, and if I can get that with a radio, then it's pretty good radio. And I'm getting it loud and clear, solid, not dropping out, so it's working fine. So let me uh, turn the volume back up, unless you let you listen to the quality of the sound. So you have the guy who's standing there with the, with the uh, what's that called? Yeah, the baton, and the waiters come in. Okay. I have to go to the bathroom really quickly, so I run out. Um, the the uh, audio is fine. There's no distortion. Not really much of a sign of a tinniness. Not a lot of bass. But that's the one thing about these new radios and these little speakers. They sound pretty darn good. So let's go to AM. There's AM. And we're going to find a station here. Let me turn the volume up. And six, five seventy should be. That's pretty weak, which it normally is pretty weak. Now a strong one is six twenty. There's six twenty. Little. I hear a little noise here. Could be all the stuff in my office. Routers, switchers, monitors, two or three computers going, even the cell phone itself might be causing problems on medium wave. Let's go up a little higher. Okay, that's good. Wrong. 
never said that. It's a hard thing for anybody to do, let alone those people that are in positions of power and influence. Not you're bad. Never supposed to admit you're wrong. And it is so tiring. Not as good as uh, FM as far as the sound quality, but it's plenty strong. Picking up stations, pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Good. It's really small. Look at that. That would easily fit in your shirt pocket. Put some uh, earbuds on there. Pretty nice. And it was. I can't believe I didn't do a... Well, even if I had done a review right after I got it, it may have already gone up in price. I guess I just happened to catch it. And it'll go, it'll go back on sale again. That's the thing about beauty about Amazon. I have a lot of things on Amazon on my watch list because they will go on sale and sometimes the sales are like unbelievable. So if you don't want to pay twelve ninety seven, which to me for this radio, still a good price. Twelve ninety seven. AM FM memory storage clock sleep timer what more could you want 1297 and like I said on FM let's go back to FM I let me I be careful and I'll play a little bit of music very quickly let's go to a music station whoops that's volume okay I want to turn the volume all the way down and then let me tune using the buttons here um, try 93.3 I think that's one it's, I don't listen to FM that much 93.3 now there's no indication of signal strength so can only go by sound let me see what we got here Pretty good, pretty good, and I and again it's on this little speaker, mono, and uh, a good foot of a good foot of <laughs> a good pair of earbuds. Probably sounds really good, and um, you can put it in stereo mode when you're using the earbuds. Buds, when you go, oh God, I am punch struck. I tell you, last night was no fun uh, getting those tornado warnings. And they, the tornado warnings were like saying, it's now a tornado and it's down the street. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. So we were kind of braced. And then I wait. Within five minutes after they announced it on TV, bang, power was gone. And we were without power three hours, for three hours. Anyway, God, that's about it. I think it's still a good buy at $13. It was a great buy at 10 and it might go on sale again. Anyway, this does it have a number? I don't think it has a number. A lot of these don't have numbers. It just got a manufacturer's name. There's the box. No, I don't see a number. Let me just check this real quick and see if there is a number. I had, I did, uh, when I first got this and I played with it for about an hour, I said, hey, I like this. So I put it in my Amazon store immediately. So it's in my Amazon store. Nope, I don't see anything about a model number. This is, uh, this is a silver one. They come in multiple colors. Uh, and the price, this is weird. The price varies depending on the color. <laughs> That's the only difference. Like if you want black, which a lot of people would prefer, it's nineteen ninety seven. And then there's I believe a gray, fourteen ninety seven, and then there's uh this one with oh the displays are also different. So there are four models. There's black with a blue back backlight and a black with this amber black white backlight and then the white or silver silver with the two different backlights and 
the <laughs> for some reason the one like this with the amber amber backlight is the cheapest at $12.97 now. It was on sale for $9.97. I'm sorry. I, I can say I don't know how long that sale lasted. So probably even if I did a show right away, it wouldn't be on sale by the time you saw my show. Anyway, have a great day and uh you people in New Orleans, be safe. That storm is uh, supposed to hit any minute, and it dumped a ton of rain on us. And the rain has finally stopped as of this morning after like three and a half days. Anyway, I didn't mean this to be a weather report. If you enjoyed this show, please take the time to give me a thumbs up. It tells me that I'm doing shows you like, and have a great day. Bye-bye.